Hi guys, it's Rizolka, and you might be wondering what you're looking at. Um, this is Fatal, the new... I was about to say the newest and greatest from uh, Tale of Tales, but uh, I think we, we all pretty much know that there is no such thing as latest and greatest from them. Uh, some other games that they have made um, that you might be more familiar with. Uh, the Path, and... Um, uh, what's the other one? The graveyard! Of course, we killed the little old lady. Ooh, whom seeketh thou in this palace? There are, there are little notes all over the wall down here. Basically, this is just discovery. Um, Angel of the Lord God, what does thou... What dost thou hear with thy sword? Okay. Um, you might be wondering about the grainy effect. It's just something they like to do. Um, something that you guys can't see, but I can, there is the smallest, it's like literally one pixel, pixel tall of a gold bar that is filling up as I walk around. Um, basically it's going to give us messages quite soon. Because basically above us, the dance of the seven veils is going on. Now you might be curious what I mean by that. Oh, in, I hear in the palace the beating of wings of an angel of death. You might be wondering what I mean. Um, basically, the the tale is based upon um, Salome and the uh, oh, what's that word? Oh, and she did the dance of the seven veils for uh, I can't remember the king. I think it might be King Herod for John the Baptist's. Oh, here we go. Who is this woman who is looking at me? I will not have her look at me. Wherefore doth she look at me with her golden eyes under her gilded eyelids? I know not who she is. Um, fade. There's another message behind it. Uh, in that day in the sun shall be become black like sackcloth of hair, and the moon shall become like blood, and the kings of the earth shall be afraid. Um, but yes, yeah, she danced the, the veils, the, the, the dance of the seven veils, and, um, well, she kind of got the guy's head chopped off. She, um, basically the story goes is that she, uh, she fell in love with John the Baptist. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it goes in the in the actual... Oh, daughter of Sodom, come not near me, but cover thy face with a veil, and scatter ashes upon thine head, and get thee to the desert, and out of the sun, and seek out the son of man. That's nice. Disappear message. Disappear. But, uh, that she was actually in love with John the Baptist, which is the reason why, uh, when he spurned her, uh, he kind of, um... She kind of danced it so she could have his head, have him beheaded. Uh, behold, the time has come. That which I foretold has come to pass. The day of, the day that I speak of is at hand. Well, that, that's good for you. Um, the control of the game is just literally walking. Damn it. Sorry about that. I, um, I accidentally, uh, clicked out of the screen. Back, daughter of Babylon! By woman came evil into this world. Speak not to me, and I will not listen to thee. I will listen but to the voice of the Lord God. So this is him spurning her. I guess these are his memories that are shooting up on the wall. Oh, we've kind of seen everything. We're just waiting for the messages to pop up now. Um, as you can see, they kind of enter the world as planes. Uh, unfortunately, each time that, um, since my, my screen is a dual- Oh, you can actually see her! My, scr my, my screen setup is a dual setup, so if I if I click too much to my left, it actually thinks I'm trying to hit my other screen. Oh, here we are. Back, daughter of Sodom, touch me not! Profane not the temple of the Lord God! Come on, lady, dance over the damn grate! Oh, here she is! Hey! Hey, baby! You know, if the Dance of the Seven Veils, you know, you should be kind of tossing some veils around. No? Okay. So yeah, we're basically just waiting for messages now because we've, um, we've seen all the messages that are down here just by exploration. And, um, there we go. Art thou not afraid, daughter of 
Herodias, did I not tell thee that I had heard of the palace of the beating of the wings of the angel of death? I had heard in the palace the beatings of the wings of the angel of death. Maybe soon, John the Baptist, you will be in Arcadia. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Alright, I reckon we're about to get another veil. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Be thou, daughter of an incestuous mother, be thou accused or accursed. the end of the dance. Drop another veil. Drop another veil, woman. Well, she's about to drop one actually on the grate. Come on, drop the veil. Drop the veil. Uh, okay, it's supposed to fall on us, but oh well. I will not look at thee. Thou art accursed, Saloon. You art accursed. And, um, alright. Interesting thing that you kind of like, oh, what do I do now? You kind of walk towards the door because someone's going to come and visit us. Hi! How are you doing? You're a good friend of mine. Oh! Oh, um. You kind of gave me a bit of a Dutch tilt, which means I'm dead. Oh dear. Enter stage two. Exploration afterwards. You might be like, oh, here we go. Title cards. Tale of Tale presents. Created by Aurelia Harvey and Michael Siam. Siam? One of these days I will get his name right. I think her name might be right, I think. Fatal. Exploring Salome. Or Sal Shalom. I don't know how to say her name. I never have. I think I'm getting it right, but you never know. Hi. Hey, lady. You, lady. Cursing at your life. She's a discontented... Well, no, she's a virgin, so she can't be a discontented mother. And a long-forgotten wife. No, can't do that one either. I've no doubt you dream about the things you never do. But I wish someone had to talk to me like I want to talk to you. Well, that, I guess, could apply. Um, basically, now we get to flute around. But, um, we do have a purpose. Like, I did record this before. Where is my mouse? There it is. I recorded it before, but, um, uh, unfortunately, I did not know what I was doing. And it turns out in the end, I wasn't actually properly recording it. So I was kind of like, oh, 15 minute, de you know, recording. I thought I was playing it a lot longer. And it turns out I was probably playing it for like an hour. But hopefully, now that I actually know what I'm doing, relatively quick. Basically, we are extinguishing lights. And as you can hear, we get whispers. And they say... The only one that you can really make out there is she is a virgin. And um, if we put our darkness over the light, the uh, light extinguishes. And um, as you can see, we can look a bit more in depth at things that we're... Um, Looking at, oh look at the, look at the chair, ooh, and um, there is stuff. We can pan around a little bit, as you can see. The next candle, because they all activate at different times, it's not very far away. We can actually woo, play with the veil now that we have the little light, but that's about it. Let's see, got any tidbits for us? Whispers. And as you might have noticed, there were uh, letters suddenly appearing on those discs. 
basically they um the, what the discs do woo, what the discs do is that they actually uh they allow you fast travel back to the previous flames that you were at but once you've played with them it, it's pretty much pointless Bring out the prophet. Now as you saw that uh, in the credits the words are all from Oscar Wilde. They're actually based on his play of Salome. Uh, or Salome. I don't know! One of the two. Ooh, I'm playing with a veil. Except the veil is actually attached to the floor. Wait, where is it? I worked it out last time I was playing this. Somewhere along here there is... It, it is attached to the floor, so you can't actually move it as much as you'd like to. Although really, the, the bigger question would be like, why do you actually want to move any of the veils? They're already doing what their business there. Chase to something. Um, do you think these lips will speak again? The answer is no, lady. You kind of had him killed. Don't ask me why this flame is red, unlike the others. Bye bye, fuck. Fuck off. 